Hi, sweetie. How are you doing today? Yeah, you're doing good. I'm good. I'm glad. So I know that you are in for your wig fitting today. Is that correct? Yeah, it is. Okay, good. So I do have your wig here. I have just unpackaged it, so it's fresh out of the packaging. Okay. And what I want you to do is just disregard the color and the cut, okay? Because I know that you mentioned in your consultation form that you are wanting something a little bit more blonde, okay? And we can absolutely take this a little bit more blonde for you. And I know that you were mentioning as well that you wanted to go quite short. Yeah, you were thinking something like a pixie cut. Okay, yeah, absolutely. So we can definitely take this a lot shorter. And as I said, we can take it a lot more blonde as well if that's what you're wanting, okay? But I do just want to show you the hair before we pop it on. Yeah, it looks really good, doesn't it? It looks really natural. Okay. So have you worn any wicks before? No, this is your first one. Okay, well that's absolutely fine. So I can talk you through the process, okay? So what we typically do first is we place a wig cap on, okay? So a wig cap, and I will show you in a moment, sweetie, but it's just almost like a little bit of a swimming cap, okay? And we just collect all your hair and we really secure it nice and tight in the cap, okay? And then we pop on the wig and the cap just makes sure all of your natural hair just really remains in place and that there's nothing coming down. Yeah, okay. So I will just show you it so you can see. So it looks a little bit like this when it's on. So it can look a little bit funny, but they are really effective at securing the hair, okay? typically always two in a pack, okay? I will give you one to take home, and then obviously you will have one on your head today as well, so you'll be taking both of them home. And what we want to do with this is, as I said, we just cover all of your natural hair, and then we pop this on, okay? Now I can see that your hair is already in a bun, so all I will need to do is just shish it a little bit just to make it a little bit more of a tighter bun and then I'll pop that on, okay? So just, excuse me a moment, just whilst I just get this bun a little bit more tight because we really want to make sure that nothing falls down. yourself at home, what you really want to make sure is that all the hair is taken back and it's super tight and secure, okay? So you can see that if you have little baby hairs coming down, it can sometimes peek through the wig, okay? So that's the importance of just making sure that it's all really secure. So now what we'll do is pop the wig cap on. So you want to just be stretching it like this and then applying it as you would a swimming cap, okay? So. And it can be a little bit tricky at first, particularly if you're not used to doing it, but you will pick it up really easily, I'm sure. And then what I do 
do also is just really make sure that we're collecting everything back. Usually just smooth the front a little bit as well because that can be where you get a little bit of a ruffle. Okay, if you can just look up for me, sweetie. Yeah, so there's just a little bit more that I want to get in there. And I'm just going to secure the back as well. secure. Okay, good. That's exactly what we want to do to tight. Okay. So once you've got that really secured on like so, and then you want to get the actual wig. Okay. Now what I'd suggest you do is before you apply it, just give it a little bit of a brush through. Okay. So this makes it look a little bit neater, but it also means that you don't need to be too aggressive with it once it's on your head, okay? Yeah, you can see there's a little bit of a low light in there. Yeah, you like the low light, okay? Well, what we can do with the color, and we will discuss this once it's on your head, but what I thought is we could definitely keep these little pops of caramel brown in, but we could just add probably about half a head of highlights just to really get the blonde to pop. Yeah, okay. So I'll just finish brushing it. Okay. And then you want to just pop this on and usually I tend to pop it on with the bangs just to the side rather than right at the front and I just feel like that really helps to get the placement correct. to change the cut, so don't worry too much about that, but just want to make sure that it's actually sitting out how we want it to sit. Okay. So, with regards to the placement, what are your thoughts? Yeah, you like it? Good, good. Yeah, it's crazy how much of a difference it can make, isn't it? I'm just gonna tuck it in a little bit. I may just adjust the very fronts for you, so if you could just lean your head slightly down for me. Thank you. So what we can do now then is decide on a style. Okay, I am just going to brush it out a little bit more, but why don't you tell me what you were thinking of with regards to your style. Now I know you mentioned wanting to have a pixie cut. Okay, and what were you thinking with regards to the styling of it? So did you want 
me to do a bit more of a wavy pixie cut or a curly pixie cut. Yeah, okay, I can definitely do that. So make it have a little bit more volume. Okay, absolutely. it has really good hair so it's not prone to tangling too much do with regards to the cut then is just look at some inspiration photos okay I know you have the pixie cut in mind but I just want to make sure we're both on the right lines okay because sometimes a pixie cut to one person can look a lot shorter and to some others it can look a lot longer okay so let me go get my inspiration book just tell me if there's anything that jumps out at you, okay? As I said, some people's idea of a pixie can be slightly different, so I just want to make sure we're on the right page, okay? So is there anything on these that really jump out and speak to you? This, yeah. Okay, so that's definitely a little bit longer than a traditional pixie cut, okay? But we could definitely do something like that for you. Yeah, okay. So let me see, what about, so you like that one. What about something like that? So it's quite similar. It's just a little bit smoother on the top. This one does have quite a lot of volume. Okay, so you like the volume of that, okay. Yeah, so something like that, a bit too short. Okay, yeah, absolutely. So typically with a pixie, we would be looking at something like this, but my thought is that you're wanting to go for something a little bit longer. Yeah, something a little bit more for you to style, okay? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so you quite like that one as well. Okay, so you can see with that as well, she does have that volume that I think you like in the other lady's hair as well. Yeah, okay. And what do you think about the volume with this lady? Okay, you just prefer a little bit more down. Okay, so that's a little bit too short as well. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Hmm, let me just see then if you're thinking of that. So we're definitely wanting something a little bit longer than this. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So I can see that you're wanting the volume. And what do you think about the way this has been styled at the front? Because I'm wondering whether what you like about the pixie cut is more the front rather than the actual length. Yeah, you like the front of this. Okay, yeah, absolutely. So let's see. So what about these? Yeah, okay, so something like that, but with more of a bang. Yeah, okay, so like the lady we just saw on that page. Yeah, so sort of like a mixture between those two. Yeah, okay, let me see if there's anything else. Yeah, you can see this lady again. 
Yeah, you really like the bangs. Okay, yeah. So what I'm thinking of then, sweetie, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I do think that you're wanting something a little bit shorter at the front, so maybe similar to this, but in regards to the sides and the actual length, you're still wanting to keep some of the length. Yeah, so it's more shorter here rather than being shorter there. So we're still keeping quite a bit of the length here and here, but we're just creating a really short layer at the front. Yeah, okay, absolutely. And then let's see. So with the style, I think... Yes, yeah, so we're wanting to sort of emulate the style of this, and aren't we, in terms of the volume of the sides? Yeah, so more of a bang, but the actual volume from this lady. Yeah, okay. Let me see if there's anything else that may jump out. So I'm thinking these are all quite short. Yeah, okay. And I know that you mentioned this lady's volume as well. Okay. All right, sweetie. But what I think we should do then is, as I said, we can take quite a bit off the front. But then what I will do with your cut on the sides is go very slowly. Okay. So I will just trim a very small amount off. You can let me know what your thoughts are. And we'll just keep on going a little bit shorter if that's something that you desire. Yeah. Okay. Just pop that back and then with regards to the color I think we're pretty sure that we want to go blonder yeah okay so what I probably will do is give you half a head of highlights I don't think we'll need to do any more than half a head just because you do have a lot of the blonde in already, and I don't want to take any of those nice little low lights that you said you really like. So, yeah, I think we'll just do half a head. And I think that should give us the desired look. Yeah, okay. And then we will style it. So I will do your foils first, and then I will give you the cut after once it's dried. Okay? Right. So let me just see what volume I think we should use. I don't think I'll need a very strong volume at all. I think we could go for something quite low. Do you want me to put a toner on afterwards as well? Would you rather it be a little bit more of an ashy blonde or do you like this kind of buttery tone that it has at the moment? Yeah, you prefer more of an ashier tone. Okay, we can absolutely do that. Then I'll probably just pop a toner on just to really bring out the ash tones. All right, so let me go and mix up my bleach. I think what I will do is put a little bit of all the plaques in with your bleach as well, just to really preserve the hair because it is um, human hair. We obviously want to be treating it as we would with our own hair as well. All right, sweetie. So I'll go and do that. Now, do you want me to go get you a drink? Do you want any snacks? No, you're okay. All right, sweetie. So I'll be with you in a second. Okay. Yeah, I definitely think we should just do half a head. Okay. Just going to pop a little bit of a protective sheet around you, okay?
What I want you to do now, sweetie, is if you can just look down a little bit, I'm just going to put a few around your hairline at the front, okay? dry okay I am just going to give you a little bit more of a dry just around here because what I'm going to do is use my brush to just give you a little bit more volume there okay so we won't need to blow dry you too much but yeah just a little bit more around the front I think will just give us that extra volume okay just pop a little bit more heat protection spray on to do now is go ahead and start your cut, okay? As I said, I will be really conservative to start with, and then you just let me know whether you want me to go a little bit shorter or not, okay? It's absolutely fine. I will take my time, so there's no need to worry. I don't want to take you too short, especially on the length. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to start on 
on these front bits here first. And I think with these we can take quite a bit off initially. And then I will go a little bit slower, okay? What do you think to that month? Yeah, maybe a little bit shorter. Okay. How short were you thinking? So I can take you to probably around there, I think would look really flattering. Yeah. Okay. that a little bit to give you a little bit more texture there as well. Okay. Okay. So what do you think to that? Yeah, maybe just a tiny bit more. Okay, what do you think to the feathering? Do you want me to feather a little bit more on both sides? Yeah, you like the feathering. Okay, good. I'll just finish it up on this side and then we will... match it up on the other.
about here, just to balance that up a little bit. Yeah, okay. I do think that would look really good. Go. And on that side as well. So what I want you to do now, sweetie, is just lean your head down ever so slightly, okay? And I'm just going to style your bangs, okay? Alright. shorter yeah absolutely sweetie we can definitely do that I definitely think you suit this shorter front absolutely Yeah, it looks really pretty, doesn't it? I think with the straight 
straightening tool it just allows for a little bit more of a weight rather than that really tight curl that you seem to get when we use the actual curling iron. cream on it. just a little bit of spray, I think, as well. Do anything else? Do you want a little bit more volume on the crown? Do you want me to smooth the ends? Yeah, maybe just a little bit more styling cream on the ends. Okay, absolutely. Well, you have 
our number. So if you have any questions, any queries that you want to ask about your wig, you can just give us a call and we'll be happy to assist you. Yeah. All right, sweetie. I'm really glad that you're happy with it. I think it looks absolutely beautiful.